Hi, I'm Mark Gingrass. Welcome to devgin.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to uh, run a program that will scrape Twitter. It'll use R, the programming language, to plug into the Twitter API, scrape it for whatever you search for, do some text manipulation, create a word cloud, then I am going to show you how to press another couple buttons using R to publish that word cloud to a website blog, uh, specifically WordPress. Uh, this code is definitely a work in progress and it's going to be on GitHub. And I hope to explore this code more and make it more tidy over time. But I wanted to share this with you now so that you can also get involved with something like this or maybe we can collaborate. So let's let's get started right away. So there's three different files here. If you see at the top, it's scrape twitter.r, trump wordcloud.rmd, and a web publish or WP publish web .rmd. Three different files because I wanted to keep these separate. I wanted to create the back end, which is the scrape twitter.r that does all the actual API calls. It pulls in the text, it does the manipulation, creates the cloud. The Trump word cloud.rmd is actually like the aesthetics, the, the front end, the GUI, the thing that's going to be published. And then the WP publish web is going to be the thing that actually does make it published. Uh, okay, so let, I'm not going to go through all the code, but what I want to do is kind of walk you through how to run the code. So you can download this and run your code and make sure it works. Then we can explore the code throughout time. Okay, so I already ran these libraries, so you want to run these libraries first, and then grab your API keys from the Twitter API. It's um, free. I've, I've talked about it in my previous videos. You just sign up for an API for Twitter, get these tokens and these secret keys. You're good to go. Run those. I've already done that. That way they're not showing on the video what my codes are. Okay, so then I ran this setup Twitter authorization. That's as far as I've gone. So let's go ahead and grab some tweets. I want to grab the first 1,000 tweets. You can pick whatever number you want. It depends on what you want. I'm going to plug in net neutrality as my hashtag. I'm going to search for hashtags, the first 1,000 posts that have that hashtag in it. That's what I'm going to grab. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this code, and I'll, I'll talk to you really briefly throughout it. So that's going to take a few seconds because it's going to grab those 1,000 tweets. Today's trends, um, I don't use that, but I was playing around with it. It'll actually try to pull trends based on a certain geographical area or certain other keywords, things like that. Uh, we'll, we'll look into that at another time. Okay, so now I'm going to do some text parsing with my uh, corpus. It's going to manipulate the text. It's going to find the frequency of the, of the most used terms, things like that. Like I said, I'm not going to talk you through all this code. So we're going to create it. We're going to find all the different terms, and we're going to create the word cloud PNG file. Okay, code's done. This real Donald Trump PNG, which is right here on line 67, that's where I created the actual word cloud. Let's take a look at it, see if it's to our liking. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Not bad. I like it. So what I want to do is I've created that word cloud. It's pretty cool. What do, what do I want to do with it? Well, maybe I want to auto-generate content to a WordPress site. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's go over to the aesthetics now. So this is the aesthetics, and it's not very aesthetically pleasing right now. So this is a work in progress, like I said. So this is called a, a, a R Markdown language or a R notebook that allows you to use R Markdown language. So I could put variables in my uh, text up here. So this is just text up here, and then the code is in these little code blocks. And then this is the output right here. I believe I already ran this. That's why it's shown there. But you'd want to run this chunk of code. So I click play. It runs, it's doing its thing, and it took whatever these variables were stored over here in the environment, and it created this word cloud based on that. Because all of these are part of a project, so the, the variables are all global, globally connected, basically. Okay, down here, this is actually just text. I have ads from Amazon that are on my web blog, the devgen.com site, and the uh, my satire Trump site. So I want those ads to be there. So I quickly just pasted these ads here saying, hey, every time I post a word cloud, I want it to have ads. I want to do the least amount of work I possibly can. Don't make fun of the site. It's just a work in progress, just trying to play around with this web stuff, okay? So we should make these ads dynamic in the future. But anyways, I ran that chunk of code. That's all I needed to show you besides the set in here. Click the set in on this chunk, which is... I have the output as show output only. I don't want to show the actual code because I'm going to pretend that this is human generated. I don't want to show code when I actually publish this. So make sure that you have show output only instead of uh, some of the other options here. Okay. All right. So now that that's done, um, let me show you how to get an RMD file first. File, new file, and uh, just do R notebook, and that'll be an RMD file. Okay. And you can read up on that. All right. So we've We've done the back end, we scraped, we got the data, we did the front end, the GUI interface, so to speak, the graphical side, and now we want to publish this to the web. There's three different chunks you have to run separately. This chunk here, 
is the first chunk and I'm not gonna talk you through it, but this options right here is where you put in your username and password for a WordPress site. So username, you actually put your username here, not in quotes. So if your username is you know, Gilligan, you put in Gilligan there with no quotes. And your password is your actual WordPress password that has to be here. And uh, this is the syntax. So all you gotta do is unblock this uh, comment fill in yours. I blocked it out because I've already preloaded this, so I don't have to show you my username and password. Okay, and then your website goes there. Notice the xmlrpc.php. Uh, you're going to have to find out where that is in your WordPress site, and you have, it's probably something similar to what I have here, right after your main domain, but it could be different, so be careful on that. Okay, I'm not sure if I ran this chunk or not, so I'm going to run it again, and then we're going to go down here and run this chunk. And it's just preparing that markdown and uh, this, this Trump word cloud. It's preparing how to, how to, how to process that. Uh, see this G sub here? This is actually uh, doing some text manipulation because publishing code, when it's already code, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Let's just put it that way. So here is where we have the, um, this is what I want to publish. I want to publish the Trump word cloud .rmd file, which is right here. So whatever file you want to publish, you can publish code. And I can show you how to do that too in another video. And then you put a title. You can put your categories in there. And you can put publish or um, upload equals true. I, I believe I usually put false here. That way, and there's another one up here. That way it goes to drafts. Um, I haven't played around with publishing directly yet. So we've, we've, we ran those two chunks. Let's run this third chunk here. Let's see if it works. And you'll get a 100% complete over here if it works. And I'm going to show you that it's going to populate my site. I wish I showed you before I started this video that it wasn't there. But now that it's 100%, let's go ahead and take a look. This was my site just a few seconds ago. See, there's no drafts there. I'm going to hit refresh, and we should get a draft. Okay, see the draft, it showed up, perfect. So now that the draft's there, let's go ahead and let's check it out. What we can do is probably make it so it publishes automatically without being a draft, uh, once we refine it and make it perfect. So you can change whatever you want in here, but the code is here, even my ads are here, take a look, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just publish it, and notice it, it didn't categorize it, so I, we have to fix that as well. And no tags, so this has a lot of room for improvement. This is an opportunity for you to start a, a really cool uh, project for your uh, repository. So I'm publishing this now, and let's take a look at it and see if it worked. Open link and new tab. What I do is I have those images stored in a, 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 a image file, or an image site, imager.com I believe it's called. I'll show you real quick. So there's, there it is, and here are my ads. Take a, take a look. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the process. I think it has a lot of room for enhancement. Um, I would like for you to enhance it and send me back the code, help me out, and I'll do vice versa and help you out. Let me show you that image site though real quick. That, that it uses, it is, um, let's see, right here, upload all images to imgur.com, that's where it's gonna upload all your images. So I hope you enjoyed this, I know it's not a detailed uh, code type of tutorial, but if you snag this code off my site or get GitHub, um, you should be able to run this if you have a WordPress site, don't forget, you gotta get that uh, Twitter API going. All right. Well, thanks a lot. See you in the next video.